My name is Robert Michael Walker Sr. I go by Bob. Typically it would be a five hour drive to get here. I come up here during the week and I go home on the weekends to spend them with my family. Since Thanksgiving I've been flying back and forth and it's only a 90 minute to two hour flight depending on, on the winds. And um, it's much nicer to be up in the air going straight home than it is to be on the ground potentially getting a traffic ticket trying to get home as quick as possible. When I know I'm going to fly during that day I check the weather channel first off. I mean, just get a general idea of what's happening, what fronts are in the area, and what might be moving through. And I check weather.com. I look at the hourly forecast for here in Kansas City. And if it's if it's really different, I'll, I'll pick a city in between, like maybe Omaha, and, and look at what's happening with their weather. Before flight, I have to go through a pre-flight routine. So the pre-flight is something that I have written down. I use a checklist for pre-flighting, for pre-takeoff, uh, after takeoff, pre-landing, and after landing for shutdown. Uh, some of those things are committed to memory, but it's important to check them once in a while to see if you're forgetting anything. But a typical pre-flight would consist of checking the entire engine bay, open up, opening up both sides of the motor and looking for any um, visitors like birds or rodents or anything that might have nested, especially if it's been, the plane's been sitting for a while. You have to check the oil and check all the surfaces of the airplane, make sure there are no nicks in the propeller. All of the um, bolts that might have um, safety pins through them still have those safety pins. Rivets aren't working their way out and everything is intact before you fly. I also check to make sure that the, the battery is properly charged and that the strobe light, anti-collision light, and all of the navigational lights, including the landing and taxi light, are working, especially if it might be getting dark as I'm about to land. So it's basically walking around the entire plane and inspecting every aspect of it before you even consider taking it out of the hangar. Uh, my current plane, I've owned five of them, <laughs> and they've all been small planes. Only one was a high-performance plane, but this one is pretty simple. It's a 1960 Piper Tri-Pacer. So it's a high wing airplane, braced wings, with a 150 horse motor and a fixed pitch propeller. And it'll travel up to 130 miles an hour. And you know, with a good tailwind, I've gotten as high as 180 miles an hour. And that was a pretty serious jet stream tailwind. Usually between here and Kansas City, you're either gonna face some wind or have some wind behind you. When I take off from the ground, I leave all of my cares behind.